This is one of the nutrition centers where the United Nations Children Fund, UNICEF, and other local agencies monitor the growth and development of children. They focus on monitoring the weight of children, providing mothers with consultancy and lessons on a balanced diet. The political crisis has had some severe impact on children on the island. More than 50 percent of the, 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 the children aged less than uh, five years are affected by chronic malnutrition, and this total to more than two million children. This state of affairs has contributed largely to the high child mortality over the past four years. Still in Madagascar, every day 120 children die of preventable disease, things that could easily be attacked with preventions like uh, vaccination. Outside the capital city, the situation is not encouraging at all. Many children have to leave school to help with family work. For them, going back to school seems a dream too distant to realize. Children hold the future of Madagascar. However, during the past four years, an increasing number of school-age children have dropped out of school. Here, only three out of every ten children can finish primary education, a trend that's going to have very severe repercussions in the near future. Uh, first of all, it's very difficult if they miss one year to bring them back to school the next year because when they drop out of school, usually they know they don't go back to school. So that's the first thing. And second thing is if you have so many children who have not been educated, you have a whole generation which when they grow will not be educated, so cannot contribute in a, in a very full way to the building of the economy of the country. But she also believes this election offers an opportunity for the government to right the wrongs and start anew. This election is an enormous opportunity. It is a, a, a rebirth. It's an opportunity for this country to start from scratch because today it is at scratch. It is really, really hit bottom. And it is an opportunity for uh, the people to start standing up again. To ensure a bright future for the next generation, the new government faces many challenges. Job creation, attracting investment, providing health care. All these need to be addressed quickly before it's too late. Sunan CCTV, Antananarivu, Madagascar.